All right, so uh, now uh, let's go to our caller. Uh, who do we have on the phone? It's Gambit. Who? Gambit. Gambit. So uno, two, three, hot so. Welcome, Tony Daniels. The voice specialist. Thank you so much, Tony, for joining us tonight. Uh, we were so looking forward to it. How you doing? I, I'm good. You know, uh, I was thinking about what I said to you fellas because, you know, uh, I'm in a mood tonight. You know what I mean? I got to do a bunch of stuff tomorrow. It's just driving me crazy. How you doing? Good, good. I'm so looking forward to it. And, and uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it was you. You you did the, the Tony Tiger, Tony the Tiger commercial, the hockey uh, uh, commercial. Was that you? Yes, I've done. I, I've done quite a few. I started in 2005. I worked with the actual guy. Well, technically the second guy, believe it or not. Dallas McKinnon did it in 1950 something for about a year. And then they hired Paul Ravenscroft. And that lasted till 2005 when he passed. And I was working with him in 2004 doing, you know, especially Mark Boxes, you know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they had him for like 15 minutes and he was on. Um, he was on oxygen. He comes in, you know, and uh, they're like, uh, Tony, you have to sit down because we've got Thurl. <laughs> and uh, so they put Thurl up there and he's like, try to do Tony's turbos. They're great. And then they only have him 15 and he leaves and they go, man, we didn't get a clean one. I went, you mean Tony's turbos? They went, oh, you can. Yeah. And you know where else you know his voice from, you guys? You know him from this. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was it. That was the same guy that did uh, yeah. original Tony the Tiger. Yeah. This. Well. Yeah. Uh, technically. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. It's crazy, man. So. You but, know, but with I, a name like just... Tony Daniels, you, you you should have Tony the Tiger Daniels <laughs> as your nickname. Well, it's, <laughs> well, it's the funniest thing because um, my 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 family is half uh, Sicilian. Oh. And our our coat of arms is a tiger. That's our nickname. Right, right. That's that's not so. Yeah. Not so. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so my father's Reno Tiger. That's what they call him. Nice. Is you? Are you Tony or Antonio? No, I'm Tony. To New York. <laughs> Get out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Born. You're you're born in Canada. Where what part of Canada? Uh, Toronto, where there are more Italians than Italy. Yes, Toronto. Yes, Toronto. Right, Toronto. Right. Definitely. Uh... Allora, allora, speciale italiano, no? Eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pali Italiano, bravo. But I, I'm going to tell you. Si, si. How about I, I, Tony the Tiger in Italian? Eh, come si dice? Come Sono si buone. <laughs> Sono buone. Sono buono. <laughs> right, so now you talk, instead of talking about Frosted Flakes, we're talking about a beautiful uh, plate of linguine con vongole. <laughs> Sono buone. As Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Throw a nice steak on that. I'm happy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, I did, I, I did look at some interviews with you. And uh, before I say anything, I want to thank Gary Demers for uh, having you, uh, uh, getting you on our show. Gary's a great guy. He does a lot for a lot of different he, uh, celebrities. He was a great guy, but I think a little contract on him, you know what I mean? Oh, sorry, was <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to say I did see a couple of interviews with you, and you do have that voice. You have an amazing voice. I'm surprised you ever did. Did you do any radio before? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was in radio. In fact, uh, I'm still kind of on part time with Howard Stern. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah, but not not like a ton. Um, and uh, yeah, um, how do you so like I, you know, did... how do you like working with him? Yeah, no, he's you know he's good to me, and uh, I love working with. Uh, well, I know I've known Gary Balabate and Fred Norris forever, but I just love uh, Sal and Richard. Sal uh, Governale and I are we're, we're close. We like each other a lot. Not that we're doing funny weird stuff. Hey, whatever like happened to Baba Booey? Baba Booey. He's around. He's he, around. He's he, uh, yeah. He's he's there every day. But you didn't you know, whack him too, remotely. did you? Not yet, but it could be. <laughs> listen, listen, I gotta tell you. And you know, I don't know if you know this. Guys, I played guitar for seven years with Dominic Canese, Uncle Junior. Oh, yes. Awesome. We sang a song with him. Yeah. Yes. At the, at the, uh, at the, uh, the, so, the Bob Con, right? Hey, you yeah. saw it. Did yeah. you saw it, huh? I, I saw it. I had, I had to see it. I got the video. Were, yeah, were, you really weren't cool. there, though. Did you come to Mob Con? No, I was away. I was doing this uh, Olympic thing. So, you know, like when I'm not doing the fun stuff, I'm doing more fun stuff, which is, uh, uh, I, I've, I, this has been a crazy couple of years. It's been amazing, but I was doing, I was away doing the Olympics, you know, tonight, 
the Olympics live from Tokyo, you know, all that stuff and, and do all the promo voices for that. Yeah. And then, uh, it's you know, I've been, ah, geez. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not that's Italian. That's Japanese. It's you know, I know. Yeah, no, no. Listen, I, uh, years ago I had to do, you know, all the X-Men versus street fighter, all the games. Right. So I, I was doing Gambit and a bunch of the characters. And, uh, one of the things that was really cool was, I voiced it in English, and then they had an interpreter, and they would make me do it in Japanese. Oh, I got to go ahead and buy it. You know, it was <laughs> really cool. Yeah, so, yeah, it was fun, man. Um, I got to say, uh, you're, 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 to, you're a legend. Let's, let's face it. You're, you're a total legend. If you look at your history of uh, voices, and, and, and it just goes on and on. Uh, I didn't even have enough ink on, in my pen to, to write every character that you I was. Did. I don't know if this is true, but I was hearing something about that you got inspired by seeing uh, an eagle flying and going, some crazy th- <laughs> and that and that's where all start is that true <laughs> no no i i had to work for the philly the philly eagles for two years <laughs> i was doing uh some funny uh bits for them with this uh wait this a minute you wait a minute you're serious now you're pulling my leg i'm not i'm not I, for two years i was doing that and it's really funny because um, you know i just got to say something i just made that up by the way <laughs> i had i see, knew I nothing knew, about that but look at that we already got a connection hey, see what happens yeah when, Exactly. That's the way it works. Yeah, but yeah, I was uh, I was working. Uh, th- these managers I had, they had this uh, kid. And he was doing all this stuff for the Eagles. So I ended up at fly Eagles fly. You know, and it was really good because uh, wow, that is that is playing, wild. Yeah, that is I wild. just finished playing just playing a mind. wise guy in Tommy Waits' new film. And uh, you remember Thomas G. Waits from uh, the Warriors? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, were... we we were on the the Johnny P. Show. He was the the, the headliner guest, and he, we were yeah, guests. He, we were co- he was jamming yeah. with his band. Yeah, first. he was jamming with his Wait, band. Yeah. That was me with the band. Oh, oh wow. wow! I didn't know that. Uno, dos, tres, hot show. <laughs> oh, we were having so me, you and I were having some uh, pasta and some uh, sub uh, sub sandwiches. In the, yeah, so we were the there food. with you. We didn't. Even, yeah. Oh man! Not all, I, not me. I loved you guys, man. I loved you guys because yeah, that's what we were doing. And you were you were sharing with me, which I thought was great during COVID. I got no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, but we were we were talking about we were talking. I mean, he was. He, oh, and Mike Buschetti, Mike Buschetti, our friend Mike Buschetti. Mike, Mike, yeah, and then uh, what was the other guy who was there? Boschetti. Uh, the kid. Yeah, is that his name? Oh, the kid from uh, the other actor. Oh man, I forget his from, name. Uh, from Goodfellas. From, from yes. Uh, no, from oh. Bronx Tale. No, yeah. Bronx. no, Bronx. Bronx. no uh, uh, from uh, Die Hard Three. Well, he he was actually in some oh, films, but one of the ones he was as a kid actor, he grew up. Oh, it was with. Bronx yeah. Tale. Yes, it was Bronx, Bronx Tale. Tale. Yes, it was. Bro- yeah, it, it was. was uh, it was a uh, Agode de Bronx. Agode. <laughs> <laughs> no, the tale. Uh, oh, Agode, yeah. an Italian code. I wish. Tale. I wish I knew that was you. I mean, I mean, I knew who. You, I think you've called our show years ago, if I'm not mistaken. I thought we had you on years ago. Uh, do you remember calling in the wise guys? Yeah, I might have done that when I was in Rikers. And uh, you guys were my only solace. I remember, I remember, uh, I remember, do you remember this episode of Woody Woodpecker? When uh, he, he, he was inside the music store and, a, and, a, and uh, one of the mobsters is running from the police and he jumps into the piano and, and Woody Woodpecker's trying to rat him out and, and point the police officer to the piano going, psst. Get the dough, the dough, and then he puts a gun in his mouth, and he's like, "Doody, doody, doody," and he's playing the piano. Okay. You remember that? I remember that. I remember that. If we're of oh, that age. Do- yeah, so the, the youngsters, you the dough. I got to tell you, you youngsters out there missed a bunch of gosh, gosh dang cartoons. If I heard. So yeah, uh, those were those were good times. Yeah, good times. So so let me ask you, where do you get the the is it just come to you like the voice? Do you create it yourself, or, or obviously, do they give you like an an idea what they're looking for? How does how did the like JoJo Circus and uh, he's a, uh, like you said Gambit or even um, the Transformers? Uh, he's definitely. How, how does the voices come out of you? Where do you come up with them? Well, it's funny because if I'm creating something, I uh, sometimes they'll they'll give you a. Uh, they'll give you a picture and go, this is what the character looks like. And you go, I can imagine what the character would sound like, but I'm the king of, of, um, of replacements, you know, like I took over for Chris Potter as Gambit and the X-Men. I took over for, you know, Thor Ravenscroft as Tony. That's my thing. I've done like 
in the last few years, like uh, 30, 40 TV shows and movies where I've gone in and replaced. Oh my God. I, uh, let me, let me grab my list. Cause there's a one, there's a gosh dang pile of voices in there and someone's going to get set on fire tonight. Hello. Was not that loud? <laughs> I, I saw a police Academy. What was that? A cartoon? Yeah, uh, that was, yeah, it was some kind of cartoon thing. And I, I did, uh, you know, I, I played a cop on um, on TV on, um, but there's just a voice for uh, what do you call it? That the the CBS and the CBS or, or ABC? I can't remember. Anyway, for uh, uh, man, there's just so many. Let's just say no boogie to the girls. Yes, to the voice. A little, a little bit, a little bit of everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, so hey, do the, do the neighbors ever complain <laughs> that there's too many people no, in your because, house? No, because they know who my father-in-law is, so I don't worry about it. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you, should, you should have so a I, parrot in the in the window and just, just blame it on him. <laughs> that's my favorite joke. <laughs> <laughs> you just fired my favorite joke. About the guy who will get, he gets a he gets a parrot and the parrot comes home with him and all of a sudden the parrot swearing like a trooper swearing 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 and the guy gets really upset and he throws the parrot in the freezer and then he feels bad he goes back down pulls the parrot out of the freezer the parrot says I, I I feel really bad we got off to a wrong start sir and he says okay okay just you can come back upstairs but you can't swear he goes I I promise now let me ask you one question uh, what did the turkey do. <laughs> I'm lost. Why am I not getting that? Oh, Turkey in the freezer. But I'm bummed. Well, you know why? When you said Turkey, was thinking no Turk. So, like hey, wait. From so, Turkey. so you're you're part of Thomas G. Wage's band? Yeah, I play with Tommy. And I'm what also, what did you I'm play? The guitar. The oh, guitar. Oh. The guy. The oh. god that walked among those people. Anyway, you know. Uh, the, <laughs> We were supposed to bring Tony into our studio here, and uh, he had to cancel. But uh, they were coming in, and we were going to set up, and uh, I, uh, we, he ended up canceling on, on overall. But uh, I was, yeah, you were going to. I think it, somebody got sick, sick, sick at the time. It wasn't me, but one of the guys that got sick. Yes, COVID nothing. was a big problem at the time. Well, you so. have to come yeah. in the studio with him. I will. I'm going to come with him because he's, he's my boy, you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll give you a list of some of the people I've, I've uh, voiced over for. And remember, these aren't caricatures like you, you get with a standard comedian. These have to be so exact that you can't tell us. So, you know, Pacino, Baldwin, Schwarzenegger, uh, Ben Kingsley, Clinton, uh, Bob Hope, Cary Grant, Casey Case, and Chaz Palmer. I love Chaz. How are you guys doing? It's great to be on your show again. What's up? Anyway, uh, uh, Colin Firth, the other night we, we saw Colin, it was wonderful. Uh, uh, Dennis Farina, one of my favorite Italians, right there. How you doing? Are you, you two better get involved. You, bet, you two better start getting more personally involved in your work. We're going to stab you through the heart with a pencil. You understand me? You got you to be. You gotta, What's your favorite one? Oh God, there's so many. Like, um, I've actually, I'll tell you who I've done for. So I've done Pacino for Pacino. I've done um, Patrick Stewart for Patrick Stewart. So like, hello, have uh, Wesley Crusher meet me in my ready room. Tell wow. him to bring a wet towel. That's I'm right. so hot. Yeah, that's, that's uh, right. I've done Connery for Connery. That was a cool one. Um, I, I, this is a really cool story. So I, I had, a, I was writing music for this TV series, and we had a little studio in, in Hollywood in the, on the Sony lot. And one day, I'd, I'd been parking in this spot for like months. And on one day, I come in, there's a guy parked in my spot. I'm like, you son of a, I'm going to call one of my uncles. Anyway, so I said, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I pulled around the corner and there was a spot open. So I pull into it and this guy toots his horn. He goes, excuse me, that's my spot. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. He goes, uh, you know, my, my name's up there. And I go, I'm, I'm really sorry. He goes, you know what? Your car, it was a small Beamer. Your car's small enough. Just pull right up to the pole. I'll pull in behind you. I go, thank you, dude. So I pull up. He pulls in. And I'm walking by, I go, thank you. And I look up the sign, you're, you're, you're Jerry Frockheimer. And he goes, yeah. He goes, what's your name? I said, Tony Daniels. What do you do? I'm an actor. And he goes, really? Are you working? I go, yeah. He goes, not for long. I go, what? He goes, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Then I come, so I come around the corner, and this guy's getting into the car. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to give this guy a barrel full. And he looks at me and goes, excuse me. Is this your spot? I go, 
Um, you know what, Mr. Connery, you can park there anytime you want. Oh, thank you, son. It's nice. You know, so it was cool. Uh, I, so he I, parked there for three more days. I could tell that you could do a good Family Guy. Do you know the episode when uh, f- a Family Guy when he goes into the uh, the Solomaria and uh, he talks to the uh, the guy behind the you know the counter, the deli, with the mustache? Or he goes in with a mustache, Papa the Boopy. Remember that episode? <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you never saw it? Oh, you got to see it. I didn't see that one. But when I you get off the you, phone, I, you got to search it up. Uh, you I, know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I filled in for uh, Seth MacFarlane on Ted 2. Hey, come on, Johnny. Let's go. Throw the ball. You know, that was fun. Yeah. I, they didn't let me do any of the swear words. I was so upset. Ah, uh, tattoo. Boss, boss. Let's go back to Fantasy Island. Ah, uh, tattoo, you little monkey. You know, I just love that. That was yeah. a good job. <laughs> the plane. I got to hear a little Al Pacino now at this point, and then you brought it oh, up. Oh, now that you bring that up. Now, you want, this is the old Al, like what he does now. Oh, actually, he's uh, he's in a bad way today. Uh, Tommy just called me. Uh, a really good actor friend of ours, uh, Bruce McVitie. Uh And I, I guarantee if you guys look him up, you'll know who he is. Uh, he passed today, and, and Al was really upset because... Sorry to hear um, that. Yeah. yeah, me too. When Tommy was doing American Buffalo with Al on Broadway, um, Nick Beattie was Tommy's understudy, and so they all became friends, and Al was really good. You gotta, I, I got to tell you, this, I've met De Niro. How you doing? You guys are great. But, you know, I got I to gotta say, to me, Al, Al is the king, and I just love... No, De Niro was nice to me. I, I, I was... I went to, uh, I was working for Harvey Weinstein. Anyway, so I was in this, I was in the office. Yeah, well, are you afraid to and, say that name? No, nah, no. Nah. Listen, he was Listen, nice to me the and, bottom line is I, a lot, a lot of things came to a halt. I mean, only, yeah. only the people involved know the truth, but, uh, the, he, but he was, he was definitely a big funding for Scorsese, De Niro and all the big, big filmmakers. All the guys, you know, that's why it's hard to, to get mad at him. I know. Listen, and back in the day, you had guys just going crazy and being silly. But, and, you know, that was the that was the different time. And, you know, you have to adjust. Like, you, you can't be, you know, hey, honey, how you should doing sugar and all that stuff. It just doesn't fly anymore. Um, because, you know, the, the world has changed. So you, you've got to go with the flow. But um, but I was there, and uh, I became friends with, with the security guard of the building. And he's like, uh, oh, and he was Jimmy again, dude. He says, Tony, can you stand to one side? I said, sure, Alex. Why? He goes, the man is coming down. So, and he goes, please don't look at him. I'm like, okay, whatever. So he gets off the elevator, looks at me and he goes, how you doing? I go, hello. It's nice to see you because I'm an idiot. You know, I just do his voice for him. And he looked at me and he goes, oh yeah. <laughs> and he walked out. I <laughs> well, thought, I got oh to tell God. you something. It's You're talking about De Niro. Uh, he yeah. actually, uh, this is my take of him. If you're, you know, in his face, like uh, you know, starstruck, and uh, you know, uh, trying to trying to you know, like ask him for an autograph. That's the stuff that'll probably annoy him. But he is actually into comedy. So, so uh, if you do something like that, and many people have done it, he gets a you know he gets a kick out of it. You know, he he, he actually likes comedy. So uh, yeah. So so you doing that? You know, probably tickled him. You know, what I mean, that's something that. He, he, well, to- yeah, Tony, yeah, I got I got to say, I want to let everybody know uh, you're going to be at uh, Mal- Malvern Comic Fest. Malvern Comic Fest in Malvern, New yeah. York, on June fourth, uh, uh, between ten a.m. and five p.m. And and I told Gary, I don't know what it is. Every time he does an event. It's always on the day I got I got my sister's uh, set, set, uh, I can't even say it right now I can't I, I, it's it's not uh, it's just, yeah it's a surprise yeah <laughs> but uh. I, I won't be able to do that and then um, uh, also uh, June fourth uh, uh, you will be there the Warriors will be there Thomas G. Waits yeah, my- will be there uh, David Harris yep. all our friends uh, Terry Meekles Terrence Micas yes yeah. uh, everybody uh, gonna be my- over there Apache Ramos. Hey, Wanda's going to be there, and my boy Angel Salazar. Our boy be Angel Salazar, he's our buddy, man. My, he's the best. My brother Joe D'Onofrio. Joe D'Onofrio, yes. Well, and, Brett, and, our, and our guest on May uh, 25th, uh, Brett Czar. Czar, is that how you say his name? Yeah, that's how you say his name. Azar, yeah. Yeah, yeah Azar. It's, it's all going to be in Mount. In, in, uh, uh, is it going to be a pack? Of, uh, it's Malvern, be- New York, at 1 Norwood Avenue, at the. Um, 
uh, the Metrocade, and I don't even know what this is. The, uh, they, there's the fifth, uh, buddy, buddy, 501st buddy, 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 Empire buddy. City, Gar- uh, Garrison Legion. I don't know anything, uh, any of this stuff. Uh, Gary's got to tell me. But um, Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be a I lot of fun. I can't wait to see my boys, you know, because I'll be there with Tommy, and we're bringing Cedric, so we're going to actually play live. You know the kid that was playing keyboard that day? We were on the Johnny P show. Yes. Uh, he's coming, so the three of us are going to do an hour-long set towards the end of the day. It's going to be really nice. And I, I'm just really excited because David Harris is going to be there, Terrence, Wanda, who I haven't seen in a few years, and uh, Apache, my boy, Apache. Apache's daughter has sang for me. What a voice, you guys. Oh, my God. She is so talented and such a good kid. So it's it's nice that uh, my Warriors family has come together. And the reason I got uh, connected with Tommy was I'd known Terrence Micas for about uh, – it's it's a Greek name, okay? The Terrence has got the last name is Greek. So just so you know, I learned it. It's good. Hi, guys, you want some lucky? Shut up. Anyway, so Ter- <laughs> Terrence and I did a, a radio thing like 25 years ago. Uh, and then when they were doing that that um, get-together back in Coney, uh, I had to go, you know, just to connect with Terrence. And then, and then that day, Thomas and I, I don't know what it was, we just hit it off. And Apache and I hit it off. And then Lisa Maurer, that was my favorite of the Lizzie's. Um, she is like, uh, she was, I think she, to me, she was the cutest one. Tommy, uh, you, right. see, I, I know you guys like Kate Klugman. Klugman I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> Tony, Tony, yeah. before we do our closing Otso, we usually do a count of three in Italian, but I'm, before we do that, okay, yeah. it's going to be uno, due, tre. We're going to let you do the count. I'm going to give you four things. Si. You get ready now. Uh, wait, wait, up, wait, wait, but wait, before we're not doing the oh, count. No, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, no. Okay. I got one more thing I want to throw at you. Uh, there's four things. You ready? The first okay. thing, who was your favorite cartoon character growing up? It's got to be Bugs. I mean, I did a Bugs that you wouldn't believe. You didn't come poop. Yeah, but I just was, love. Yeah, he was definitely. He was a cool. Yeah. He was cool. Uh, all right, now we're going to uh, musician. Who was your favorite musician growing up? Oh, that's an unfair question because you, you gotta talent. know one of one of my yeah one of my best friends is Rick Emmett. He was is was is the guitar player for the rock band out of Canada called Triumph, and I also toured with them and I toured with Rush. Um, so I know a lot of big players, and then with them you know, I got to go out with Alice Cooper and hang out and uh, Thirty Eight Special, Molly Hatchet. So wow. all the uh, um, yeah there was a guy serious, named Paul. The, serious yeah, jam, oh, yeah, serious I, jamming going on. Dude, dude, I was hanging out with uh, Bad Company, and, and I'm like, uh, I said to this one guy, I go, excuse me, so um, we're, uh, the, we're at the crew table. I go, what do you do with the band? He goes, oh, um, I, I'm a singer. I, my name's Paul Rogers. And, I, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it was kind of – So, but, but um, who was the biggest influence on me? Oh, that's such a hard one because uh, I guess my guys that I, I toured with and stuff were really good influence. Wow. But you know, of course, you, you love Jimmy Page and you love Eric Clapton and right. uh, and it, and then uh, of course Tiny Tim. Right. The last two, <laughs> actor and comedian. Okay, actor. Uh, top of the list, Al Pacino. Okay, comedian. Uh, comedian. Oh boy, that's a tough one because. To me, the king, for the longest time, the king was, um, uh, it, it had to be, oh, boy, this is so tough because there's so many good guys. Again, I worked at comedy clubs. Um, so it's got Richard Pryor. Yeah. Richard Pryor. Yeah. Richard Pryor. And then now it's Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's Tony, yeah. real quick, uh, do you have a website everybody can go check you out or book you or anything for anything? Yeah, TonyDaniels.com. Uh, on all the on all the socials, it's the Tony Daniels, but TonyDaniels.com, and uh, you know, and then you can always find me anywhere Tommy G is hanging out. Tommy G waits uh, because we're always doing stuff together. We we just finished a play called uh, White Man's Guide to Rikers Island, and uh, we were in it, and I did all the music for it as well. So I'm a busy, crazy dude. Yeah, that's a, that's well, there's it. another place to find you. It's at MalvernComicFest.com. For people who want to go, it's on June 4th at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. All the Warriors will be there. And uh, uh, our buddy, uh, boy, you said Angel Salazar, uh, Joseph D'Onofrio. And uh, go stop and see our, our guest uh, also next uh, show, um, Brett Czar, who from the Young Rock. 
Um, and uh, I, I'm telling you, it, it, it was an honor to have you on the show, uh, Tony. It really that, was. Thank you. And, I, I adore you guys. And when you guys were on Johnny P, I was like, I was so impressed because, I mean, first of all, you guys speak real Italian, which is great because my wife, she she got a kick out of that because she's Calabrese. So, you know, the head is hard as a rock. And so <laughs> it's all good. And I just love it because, you know, I, I felt uh, I felt the kinship with you guys. And, and Johnny Potenza is such a, a uh, yeah, he's our dude, boy. Man. He's our buddy. Uh, can you uh, before you finish off with, with our, our, our slow, our, our big name, uh, so can you do us the wise guy show there? <laughs> right. <laughs> the hey, Kirk. hey, you're listening to the wise guy show. And they're <laughs> Take it oh no! Oh, you got to do the count. Yeah. You got. Hey. Go ahead. Ready? A, do the count. Tony the Tiger. Uno, due, tre. Ah, so thank you so much, Tony, and uh, I'm looking forward to see you. Sure, I'm sure we're gonna run into each other at a con somewhere because uh, Gary eventually will book a date that I could make. But um, <laughs> it was an honor having you, and I, I, I gotta say thank you for all the wonderful voices you give all of us uh, every day. Grazie, amici. Thank you so much. Arrivederci, Tony. Daniels. Arrivederci, Roma. See, it's time for us to part. Tony Daniels, that was great. What a great uh, guy! I'm telling you, he he's got to be. I'm telling you, people that like that, like say, if he go to hotel room at one of the cons and he's in the room like practicing his voice, people are like, "Did you hear? Was in that room? Like, can you imagine? Like, fifty people are in the room and uh, he's got skills. Yeah.